Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. Today we have a get ready with me and I'm super excited because I answered a bunch of questions that you guys had for me on Instagram. I did put like a little question kind of box up so you guys could ask me questions. Before we get started, I do want to thank Dossier for sponsoring a portion of this video. Dossier is a French perfume company and they actually just branched out into diffusers and also candles. So I'm really excited about that. They have three new additions to the candle collection and before when I first started trying out their candles there were only two. The candles burn for such a long time and they smell so yummy and I have one burning back there. Actually it's one of my favorites. It's Ambery Vanilla. That one smells so yummy. They also make designer dupe perfumes and with some of the perfumes the candles are inspired by that scent so I love it. I've been loving Ambery Cherry. Like this is like the scent for fall and I feel like it's so perfect for me because it smells like it smells like really sexy but like also it has like hints of fruit in there that makes it that much more gentle to wear i love anything with like vanilla because i feel like that's a scent that men really love so i feel like it gets a lot of attention and so i i love attention <laughs> I also really love Oriental Woody 8 for my home. I actually spray this around and on the foliage that I have near my front door and I really like it. I feel like this is the first thing that people smell when they first come in and so they tend to associate my apartment with like the one hotel when they go there they'll be like oh Jenny I just smelled someone who smells like your place and I think it's so funny but, but like it's, this is not like Lalabo like people think it's actually Lalabo it's just Oriental Woody 8. <laughs> and I love it. I will leave a link down below in case you guys are interested. Definitely try out Oriental Woody 8 if you guys have been curious about the Labo. I feel like it smells almost identical and the scent lingers for days and days. So I love that one. As always, I will have a link for you guys down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the get ready with me. Hi guys, let's go ahead and get ready. I did a little bit of a tint to my eyebrows. I don't know if you can even tell. I already booked my next Botox appointment because literally that's how much I love it. I cannot say enough good things about how happy I am that I decided to get it. Even though I had a lot of people tell me that I didn't need it, I still wanted it for preventative measures. The sun is barely coming out. It has not been out all day. So I decided to film and now it's like out. I'm really happy that I got it. I feel like it's so great. And especially in the gray, when I'm pulling heavier weights, I tend to like scrunch a little bit. So I'm happy that that's kind of gone. And obviously I do agree like four to five times a week. So it's really important that I don't get wrinkles from that because that would be such an oxymoron, like working out to be more youthful and feel healthier. And then my face looks old. So I can tell where the tint worked a little bit. It wasn't like a really, really good tint. I think it was just brown. That's why it's a Japanese um, eyebrow tint. I did ask you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm going to look through them on instagram the first question is what is your favorite bag of all time it used to be your speedy oh my god i used to love the speedy i think the subscriber that i sold it to actually still follows me because i feel like i've seen their comment before oh my god i loved hmm, i love the speedy i just wasn't ideal for my lifestyle living in downtown because i wasn't really carrying a bag that big i either needed a tote or i needed a smaller bag like there was no in between really i don't know just the way that the bag looked you could very obviously tell that it was louis vuitton just because everybody knows what louis vuitton is nowadays if that was their piece of quiet luxury it is no longer it but yeah i just felt like it was a very recognizable pattern and it just wasn't calling my name anymore so i did end up selling that i think i sold it for the same price that i that my ex bought it for because it was a christmas gift i do miss that bag sometimes but i'm happy that i don't have it anymore because if money or family wasn't considered where would you live mm, la <laughs> where also i made myself the strawberry glazed smoothie or strawberry i don't know what it's called yeah i think it's called strawberry glazed smoothie mm. Okay, should I be more specific? Okay, if I had to be more specific, I would say Century City or Brentwood when I come back to LA because I do plan on coming back after I live in New York for a year. I just want to try it out. It's not something that I 
am considering that's permanent unless of course I get engaged or married or something happens when I'm there. I could, like get pregnant or something but I highly doubt it so I just want to experience it and I feel like I also get to like spend that time with my family because I do think that having that relationship is really important for me they're not my age they're like 10 years younger than me it's not like super super close in age obviously but they do understand <laughs> and they are girls so it's really nice to just have cousins that are kind of like close in age with you but also not that close to where you were able to like have your space and be the only the only girl for a while <laughs> so that was kind of nice and i love my cousins and i love spending time with them i think sometimes it is a little bit overwhelming of course i feel like that's with anyone especially like when i go up the hill with my mom if i'm with jazzy too much then it's like too much it's too much i'm just not used to that dynamic just because i grew up as basically an only girl my two older brothers didn't live with me and so it was just me and my mom and my little brother and then also my aunts and my uncles i would say at times i kind of felt like the only child because there was no one that i had to share my things with i didn't have to um oh this is a little bit darker than what i wanted i didn't really have to answer to anyone and i didn't have to share my my toys or anything because i am a girl so like obviously my little brother was not gonna use or play with my barbies I just like wasn't used to that dynamic so i'm actually happy it is like the way that it ended up being but i do feel kind of sad because i wasn't there when they were like really young so i feel like i missed out on a lot but i was also not in a good place in the like early what is that i think it was like 2011 or like yeah it was like 2011 2012 like i did not have money to travel or go anywhere or do anything so it's fine i feel like everything happens for a reason so yeah but it's always nice to go back and visit them and i'm actually going very soon i don't know if this video will be up by the time i'm gone but i think it i think it will be i love dampening my beauty blender it just makes my under eyes look so good also my eyes are a little dry i don't know my contacts are like acting up today and it's so annoying i was gonna paint my nails <laughs> like a dark wine color but i feel like the color did not look good i think i showed you guys in a vlog before i just did not like the color so i ended up not doing the like dark red wine trend do you speak fluent spanish i'm intrigued i speak like elementary level spanish if we're if we're being honest i can keep a conversation with my grandma but i don't think that i have enough for like a collegiate level it's just not not feasible i haven't studied beyond that so i just kind of was content with that just because i needed to communicate with my grandma and kind of tell her like basic things around the house and like i said just be able to hold a conversation with her and then also be able to know like that she's myself <laughs> that's like what i learned <laughs> i learned just enough favorite restaurant and order i enjoy your food vlogs thank you you guys know I love Madeo and Matsuhisa and those are like my favorites but I am branching out and I am trying new restaurants now so very happy about that. I actually started making an effort to get reservations because before I just hated the system and I hated going through the whole like waiting for a reservation or waiting for the times that the reservations are released but I actually figured out that through Amex Platinum you have like a concierge and they can get you reservations so I've been wanting to eat at Funk. Kim just had her birthday there recently and her birthday like party because of that i wanted to try it out like even sooner and i was just like oh my goodness i don't want to wait for a reservation granted i did end up getting a reservation for next week but then i called them this morning and they were like yeah we have a 7 15 which is like prime time prime time 7 15 for a dinner reservation at like one of the hottest spots in la like please please sign me up sign me up that's what that's exactly what i told him he was like, oh, I have a 715. I was like, I was like, run my card, run my card. Because they do charge a $50 fee per person if you don't show up, which I get it because so many people are wanting these reservations. It's kind of standard for LA. I feel like a lot of places do that. I haven't been able to dine with my bestie because she's been out of town, but hopefully when she comes back, we can try like some yummy spots and like new spots. We love Bavel. That's like one of our, one of like our go-tos just because it's so close to us because we're in downtown. But I love Bavel. That's like one of my favorite spots. It really just depends on my mood. Like it changes all the time, but I just know that like Medeo, a lot of people don't like it and I've seen the Yelp reviews. I think they have like four stars, which I was like why but people were complaining about like ballet and that it was too like schmoozy i've actually had a guy tell me that that it was like too stuffy he's like it just seems like a 
what did he say he said something he said that it just didn't seem real like it seemed like a there's a word for it but I'm, I'm like drawing a blank right now i forgot what the term he used was but he basically just said it seemed like a fake place and not in terms of like oh everybody's fake just in just like like a simulation like he said it just felt like a simulation which i thought was kind of funny but anyway he shit it on my place and then he was like oh this is like the best food i've ever had in la i was like get get out get out please get out he also felt intimidated because the waiters and i'll feel the little old italian man that wants a place kept coming up to me and like saying like how much they miss me and how they wanted to play tennis and all this stuff and i just thought it was so funny anyway i never saw him again obviously to say the least <laughs> Yeah, I love Medeo, but like if you want to try like more trendier places, Bavel, oh, what was that noise? Bavel is really good and it's shareable too. It's Middle Eastern, I think the guy, I don't know. I think, I know the chef is Israeli, but he's also mixed with like other things. He's not just Israeli. Cheryl said, when are you moving to New York? I'm moving in January and I'm nervous as shit. Like, I keep talking to my mom about it and I'm just like, mom, like, should I back out now? <laughs> should I just like not go? Like for what? For what? Literally for what? But honestly, I think it'll be a good time to like bond with my cousins and visit them more often. Not like I already don't, but like, you know, they can come over on the weekends. We can have like sleepovers, movie nights. So I'm really excited for that because uh, growing up, I mean, I had girl cousins, but they were like, my cousin was like an ABG for sure sure she was an abg and she had like a bunch of tattoos and they were like older than me so i couldn't like hang out with them and they were bad too <laughs> i mean i love them still but yeah they were bad and then my cousin that was like closest in age to me was like she was like in elementary school when i was in middle school i think so not close at all what does a perfect day look like for you probably <laughs> my normal routine I feel like I'm always so happy when I wake up. Granted, like sometimes I don't want to go to Legree, but I do anyway because I can't afford to be fat. Probably doing 12, 3, 30 and my 10K steps and then Legree and then getting ready, going to brunch in Beverly Hills. Ideally, Avra. Avra has a good brunch. Who else has a good brunch? Wally's has a good brunch. I don't really go out to brunch a lot or like the Waldorf, the rooftop. That one's always good. And then after that, maybe like a spa day or something. <laughs> Then dinner at Medeo. That's like what I love. That's what I love. That's what I live for. How old is Luna and would you consider getting another cat? I think not until I'm married and I have a house. I'll get another cat, which I feel super, super bad about because I know that Luna needs another cat because of me traveling and everything. I'm hoping that when I move to New York, I won't have an issue with like kitty sit or anything. I kind of feel like I might, but God willing, I won't. Yeah, I would get another cat, but I think not until I'm like married or like engaged or like we have a house or something like it's just not anytime soon just because i can't it's not that i can't afford it it's just like i don't have the time she has kidney issues so i do want to just pay attention to her and like be really present for her and so i feel like if i brought another cat in the picture especially with my small space granted i will have a little bit more space when i move to new york but i just feel like it's just it's still not enough and i don't know that i would have the time for it so yeah, I don't know. And I would want to get another bingo, so I'd have to do my research and do all of that and go through the whole process again for Tika. So it's just a little extensive <laughs> at the moment. So I did my waterline. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, actually, I found my mess. I found my eyeliner. I thought I lost it, but I guess I didn't. It was hiding in plain sight. I'm going to do just a little baby wing. Oh my god, my eye is killing me. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, I just remembered. <laughs> I need to write it down. Goyard Artois or Neo Noe? Thank you. Mm, that's a really good question. Or Neo Noe. I would say Neo Noe and Ampriant. Does that count? I think it does. I, l I really love the Neo Noe. It was just a matter of like my lifestyle, of course. Like I mentioned before, it wasn't a anything with the bag or like I didn't like the bag or anything. It's just I, I wasn't going to use it. I'm not going to walk out with like LV, LV all over my bag. Like it's just not my thing. I just wasn't going to do it. What's your take on the Goyard Artois? I actually... Why did I say it like that? I don't think I have an issue with it. I think... Um, I'm not sure I really like the look of the zipper on it. It's more secure. But I just feel like... Oh, I think I told my bestie this too. It looks like a senora bag. That's what it, lo it looks like. And she actually has one in gray. And we agreed. We, we She told me. We were chatting about something. And I remember I saw her bag and I said, Oh, is that your bag? And she said yes. And I, I thought it was her mom's bag. 
it just i've never been fond of that bag i never really liked i i like that the corners are secured or like enforced with the leather i don't know i just i just don't i'm not a huge fan of it i'm not a huge fan i would go for the isabel bag over the artois <laughs> is that messed up i mean if you like if you want if you're like oh my god i need it secure i need security with my bag like yes go for it but personally personally in my opinion i'm not I'm not too hot about it. How are you doing? Sephora sale must-haves. Sephora sale must-haves. Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury powder. I feel like everyone and their moms has talked about it. Rare Beauty. But in this particular shade, Worth. This is my shade. Say Beauty. Highlighter. Always so good. I don't have a ton of favorites, to be honest. I was going to say Shantikai, but <laughs> Shantikai is at department stores. Mm, yeah, I'm not like too... I'm not too loyal to any one thing, but I think my base products I do really love. Hourglass concealer for sure. I didn't use it today because I ran out and I'm waiting for the sale to get more. That's why I don't have it, but I did use my Lancome and my MAC. This is my combination now and I don't know if I really like it or not. I'm not sure. I was going to look at this mirror, but look at how dirty it is. You can't even see it. I need something for my mascara. Yeah, I don't have a ton of favorites, but the products that I do love, I love, 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 like, so much. And I always go back to them. Music playlist favorites. Okay, this, this is weird, but I feel like I've told you guys this before. I don't really listen to, like, music, music. Like, I listen to classical music. And when I'm cleaning, I listen to nothing. I don't like music when I'm cleaning. I feel like it slows me down. When I'm studying, I listen to classical music. When I'm on the treadmill, okay, I do listen to K-pop because the beat is just so fast and like it gets you going and like time flies by so i do love k-pop for that sometimes i'll listen to like tropical house i think for my workouts that kind of like gets the job done but that's probably the only time that i listen to music is when i'm <laughs> when i'm working out like music with words how old is luna she's turning six this year someone said i don't know if i missed it but what is the black puffer bag in your videos it's from Koss and i love it um one of my friends recommended it and I don't actually I don't know if she recommended it but she had it and I asked her if she liked it and she said yes and I thought it was super cute I've seen it on Jenny and I was like oh my gosh I want that but she had a bigger one but I was just like oh my god I don't know if that's like too big for me but some people like it as a carry-on bag for the airport and I think it's cool like I do I do like it and I think it's super cute still but I just feel like mm, like I just got my Goyard so I'm not gonna get a big puffy bag i would say i'll stick to my go yard for now i kind of want to get a gm but not yet <laughs> not yet i just need to i need to relax so i kind of feel like i did it wrong i feel like i should have gotten a pm in a st louis and then gotten a gm in the anju just because it can carry more and it's more sturdy because of the reinforced like stitching and then also the fact that you can turn it inside out um it's like reversible and it has like that extra layer of leather in it but whatever <laughs> but i do want a gm in the, I don't know if I want it in the Anju though. I feel like it'll, it'll just be really heavy because it has to be like only a travel bag. Like it can't be for anything else because that bag is so heavy. Like as a PM, I couldn't imagine a GM like so big. And I think the GM is probably, how much was mine? 30, 3,200 with tax. So it was like 29, 29 and some change. Let's call it 3,000. I think the GM is probably like 3,500. Yeah, it has to be like 35 or 36. But between the PM Anju and the Mini Anju, there's not that much of a price difference, I feel like. I don't remember how much I paid for the Anju Mini, but it was close to 3000 I feel like. Maybe like 2900 How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I always, I love when people ask that. Like, I'm doing, I'm doing well. I still find myself like crying every so often, <laughs> like randomly because of the war. What are you going to miss more about LA once you move to New York? I'm gonna miss everything. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. I think I'll be okay because I don't plan on living in New York for that long. Like just, I just want to experience it for a year and I'll be content. So I'm not like too upset about it, like because I've already made this decision. I'm really excited to do like my packing vlogs though because I can't imagine like how much shit I have like I feel like a lot of it will be gone though because I'm not taking my desk or like this little dresser thing I have not like when my bestie and I put it together we did not do it right so like it wobbles I'm not taking the TV console or Luna's cat tree I want to get her new one so essentially I just have my bed uh these like little uh wooden trunks and I have one like by my bedside as well. So I want to take that one as well. And then like my ottoman and my rugs. Did I say my bed already? So like my mattress and then uh, the frame that it's on. 
because I do really like that and then I want to get like a, a headboard when I move so I'm really excited for that I feel like when I think about it, I don't feel like I have too many things. I feel like it'll only be a few boxes. I do get my boxes from Home Depot. I don't care to. Like, I'm not gonna go dumpster diving for boxes. And I like their boxes because I feel like you can, like, label them, whatever. Like, it's really simple. Just tape it up. Like, there's no mess, no fuss. But I'm excited to pack, actually. I haven't packed my place in a long time. Well, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Yeah, because when you have your own place, you don't get kicked out of anywhere because it's yours. <laughs> yeah, I think I already told you guys, but I did get approved for my apartment. I'm just waiting to see like what unit I want. I didn't actually like confirm with them though that I didn't put money down for like a lease or like to hold a certain apartment just because I didn't really like where the one that was available is facing. So I want to wait to see if other people were going to... I don't know, submit their 60 day or something because I can't believe I have to, I think I either have to submit a 60 day or a 30 day notice. I'm not, I don't remember. But it's not like I'm like moving, like I'm not gonna break my lease because then I'm gonna have to pay like $5,000 or like more than that, like, yeah, like 6,000. Um, is your biological dad Cambodian and your mom Mexican? <laughs> Both of my parents are Asian. Uh, the Mexican comes from my foster family, which is my foster mom and my foster dad. They're both Mexican. Mm, I think my grandma's from Jalisco or Zacatecas, I don't remember. Someone said, how is school? Can you talk more about what you do for a living? Honestly, I don't really want to just because I feel like people will try to get me fired based off the things <laughs> that they've said in the past. So I feel comfortable not talking about it. And that's just kind of how I like things. I like my privacy and I don't want like my livelihood to be on the line. So that's just not up for debate. But thank you so much for watching. I'm using Kylie liner. Oh my god, it's like <laughs> it's going up a bit much. I was like, where's Luna? And she's right there. So yeah, today's been a long day. We have dinner a little earlier than we've normally been having dinner, so I'm happy about that. I'm actually so terrified to move. Like I know I seem chill now and like yada yada yada. I'm just laughing about it here and there, but I'm actually so scared. Also, I know it's like a month away, but, but, are you guys gonna hate me? I'm super excited to be doing Vlogmas. I decided that I'm gonna take on the challenge because I cannot wait. And you guys know Christmas is like my favorite time ever. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a very expensive month just because I know, I just, I just know you guys, I just know. So I'm not looking forward to that part, but otherwise I am very excited for Christmas and it's like the happiest time of the year. I also think that Vlogmas will be interesting because it'll be kind of like when I go to New York as well, when I'm like in the transitioning period of like moving. And so I think it'll be really exciting to like kind of watch that unfold, at least the beginning stages of it, just because I'm not gonna be in my apartment then, but I'll probably tour it again. And I don't know, I'm just like, I'm super excited, but I'm also really nervous. Like I feel like, I feel like all kinds of things, you guys. I feel all kinds of things. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of inner corner in here. And then let's do setting spray. I feel like, because I can't scrunch whenever I feel like scrunching, I feel like I get a headache from it. Okay, so that is my makeup done. Let me go find an outfit. And I'll be back to chat with you guys. So this is my outfit. I hope that you guys like it. I have on this top from Zara. I'll have it linked down below if it's still available. If not, I will link a similar one. My sweater is from Lily Silk. It's cashmere. And then my pants are from Maritzia. Do you guys see how loose these are on me now? Like, that's crazy. They used to be, like, stretching for dear life. <laughs> I love the way that they're looking on me now. I am a true size 4 now. And I think I was kind of, like, starting to be, like, borderline size 6. And I feel like I, as soon as I realized that, I was like, there's absolutely no way. So, quickly lost the weight and super happy about it. Really just glad my thighs are smaller. And then my shoes are from yes style i do want to invest in like better shoes and just and just have nicer ones because i feel like i'm just not happy with like some of the things that i have in my closet so definitely going to do a purge again i just did one before i left to new york and i'm leaving again to new york but i'm gonna do another one because i feel like i just still have too many things i'm gonna leave my hair curly I just have on the same accessories. I have not changed them out just because pure gold is just easier to maintain, at least for me. 
So I have on my Alhambra with the two motifs that have diamonds on it. My evil eye, my tennis bracelet, and then also my Justin Clue. And this is my Nord Green watch. And my necklaces are the same. I have the diamonds by the yard one, but it's hiding that one. And then my earrings are the same as well. I have not changed my stack, although I want to. I just like, I'm not supposed to be spending money on jewelry, so it's probably a no-go. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. I actually just wore it without the strap for the first time and I love it. And I think it's so cute. I actually just recently cleaned it, so it hasn't been out in a while since it got cleaned. Yeah, I just love it. It's one of my favorite bags in my collection, if not the favorite, just because this has been like a dream bag of mine for a while. And when I finally got it, I couldn't believe it. I was so happy. I'm gonna go ahead and head to dinner. I will see you guys there, hopefully in the vlog. I will show you guys everything that we eat, everything that we try. I'm super excited to try this place so it should be a good time and it's so gorgeous inside as well so i'll see you guys there and thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i will see you guys in my next video bye